Hello, welcome to Music Theory Grade 1 Week 12. Week 12 deals with major scales and scale decrease. Let's take a look at the C major scale. This is our C major scale. Start on the middle C, go up to D, up to E, F, G, A, B, and we end on C. This is a scale of C major. And a scale is any defined series of musical notes. Any defined series of musical notes. In the C major scale, both the first and the last notes are Cs. But how do we know what the in-between notes are? On the piano, a C major scale uses all the white notes. So it doesn't have any sharps or flats. But on the instruments, we don't have white notes. So how do we know which notes to use? In fact, what we need to know is the distance between each of the notes in the scale. The distance between any two notes of the scale which are next to each other will be either a tone or a semitone. Tone or semitone. All major scales are built from same pattern of tones and semitones. Tones and semitones in major scale. Let's look at the C major scale again and see what the pattern of tones and semitones is. The distance between each pair of notes is written below the stave, which is T for tones or whole steps and S for semitones or half steps. T for tone, S for semitones. And let's take a look again at our C major scale. From C to D, it's a tone. From D to E, another tone. From E to F, it's a semitone. From F to G, it's a tone. From G to A, it's a tone. From A to B, it's a tone. From B to C, it's a semitone. So we can see we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. The pattern in the C major scale is, like I've mentioned, Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So we have two first tones, then we have semitone, then we have three tones, then one semitone. That's the pattern for a major scale. In fact, all major scales follow the same pattern of tones and semitones. So try to remember it. Try to remember that all major scales use the same pattern of tones and semitones. So this is the pattern. Two tones before a semitone. After a semitone, we get three tones. Then we end with a semitone. Remember that we have tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. G, D, and F major scales. These are three major scales you need to memorize. Here's a picture of the piano keyboard to help you remember the layout of tones. G major scale. Let's look at G major scale. We'll construct the scale using the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone pattern that we just learned. We'll start by putting the first G on the stave. We are using the treble clef, but it works just the same way in the bass clef. 
so here's our first note G we are writing a G major scale the next note we need as you can see from the pattern above is a tone higher than G the note which is tone higher than G is A because we can squeeze a G sharp or A flat between them so A is our next note so that's our next note as you can see it's a tone from G to A it's a tone the third note is again a tune up from A the next tone up is B we can squeeze A sharp or B flat in between them so we can see now we have our first two tones next we meet our first semitone C there's nothing we can squeeze in between B and C so now we have our first two semitones I mean our first two tones and our first semitone hopefully by now you've got the idea so here are the rest of the notes of G major scale so we have tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone so it's G to A tone A to B tone B to C semitone C to D tone D to E tone E to F sharp tone F sharp to G semitone G major has one sharp which is F sharp you might be wondering why we chose F sharp and not G flat since they are the same note on the piano when we write the scale we use each letter of the alphabet only once except for the first and last notes which must have the same letter G major must start and end on G so we've already used up that letter we haven't used F though so we need to use that and make F sharp thank you for watching and let's meet again next time